So how much money can you make per hour with the special cargo warehouses this week? Now, a lot of people, I understandably, don't like the grind of the special cargo warehouses. Yesterday, I did a video selling a full one in a public lobby for $6.6 million. And then we did a full one in an invite-only lobby. I think we got $4.3 million uh, for doing it in an invite-only lobby. Now, obviously, it takes quite a long time to fill up a full a large warehouse, 111 units. You're talking about at least four hours if you're doing it solo for just one warehouse. Now, if you split it to two warehouses, that way you don't need to worry about the cooldown. You'll be able to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that'll take you around six, seven hours to fill two of them. Which, if you sell in a public lobby, will net you around 13 point. 4 million or something like that. 13.4 million for two warehouses. But anyway, this video, as you can see by the title, is all about how much can you do in one hour. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to choose two warehouses that don't have anything inside of them. And we're going to see how much money we can make in one hour. One hour of grinding. So from... We'll start it up. We'll do what I'm about to show you. We'll grind for an hour, then we'll sell. So it'll be a little over an hour, but an hour's worth of just grinding out the warehouse. Just in case there's any of you at home that either have just purchased one or are like, you know what, I have them, but I'm just not in the mood to grind out that much. So I just don't want to do it. Well, at least you can see how much money you can make in an hour. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, guys, here we are in our CEO office. And first of all, before we get into the hour of grinding and how much money we can make, I'm going to set it up so it's perfect so we can get we can take advantage or use the full hour to its full potential. So first things first, we're going to have to go to an invite-only lobby because there is no reason to do this in a public lobby at all. The next thing we're going to do is request our terabyte and set that up right outside where we need to go. And I don't know what it is about driving the terabyte. Let me know if you guys have the same thing, but it just feels like I'm going light speed when I put it into this. <laughs> Even if I crash into a car, I feel like I'm going so much faster. I always drive my terabyte. Uh, inside of this little player scanner here because it just feels rapid. So what we actually need to do is figure out which of our warehouses we're going to be doing this with today. And I think it's going to be these two down here. They're very close to each other. I can park the, uh, the terabyte just next to one of them and it'll just make my life so easy just going back and forth between these two. So where do I park it? In this one or this one? I think we'll park it next to this one because there's just a lot of open space here, so I can park it right here. All right, so here we are at one of our warehouses. We're going to park our terabyte right here. The reason for this, like I say, you don't want to have to go back and forth between like your CEO office or arcade or anything like that to be able to source cargo. You want to be able to just do it on the go. So that's why we have this thing right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my timer for an hour. But before I do that, every 48 minutes, you can request... Uh, that they go get cargo for you. So we're going to select this person to go get sure. some. I can only do it once. I'm not going to be able to do it twice because we're only doing it for an hour anyway. We'll have him go grab it. And then once we deliver to the next place, we'll have them go get it um, instead of going there right now because it'll still be within the hour that they source it for us. Okay, into the terabyte we go. Let me get ready on my phone. I'll wait until we've sourced the first one. All right, special card to go. Three crates, and this one is wholesale furniture. There we have it. My timer has been set for one hour. Let's see how much money we can make with the special cargo warehouse this week for one hour. Oh my God, why did I put my terabyte right outside the front door? Note to self and to you guys, don't put your terabyte right outside the front door because it puts you literally right outside the front door. All right, so the first set of delivery or pickup missions was there. I had to pick up three from this location right here. Fairly simple one because it's so close by to where we are. So even picking up three going back and forth doesn't take that too or take us that much long. What am I waffling? Take that long at all? Take too long at all? Either way, it took us like four minutes to complete this first one. Uh, so now let's head back. All right, so here we are. Let's just drop this off here. The longest part, as I'm sure you guys know, is when you drop it off like this into your warehouse. This cutscene of it, it takes forever. You got to go in, do that, turn around, go out. Anyway, there we go. Three out of three delivered. Now let's leave. Now we can go straight into here, straight into our dashboard here. Special cargo, three crates. So I know it's not West Vinewood. I know it's not the gas one. I know it's not the bail, blah, 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 one. So it's got to be the logistics one. I forgot the name of it, but I've, by process of elimination, I know it's going to be this one. There we have it. So let's just say goodbye to here. Go away. Usually I would try to park my oppressor in here just so it's easier to get out. Look where it puts me right at the door. Note to self. 
park further away so when you come out of your bloody terabyte, it doesn't spawn you right into the door. I mean, this one seems too good to be true because it's literally right here. I'm assuming we're going to get chased by some bad guys. Uh, but to be honest with you, this is going to be one that takes like two minutes. We're not that far away. You can see less than a mile away from our warehouse. All three of them are in this one van. I'll take it. Sometimes you get lucky. You win some, you lose some. This time we won some. All right. And just like that, I did indeed choose the correct warehouse. So it was this one. That took like a minute, two minutes max. All right. And since this was our first drop off, now we're going to come up to this gentleman right here and saw yeah. special cargo. Like I said, we're only going to be able to do that once for this one and the other one because we've only got an hour doing this. So um, that's why I didn't come here first before I started because I'm not going to be able to do it two times anyway. All right, so now we take our oppressor right here to make sure I don't crash into any buildings. And see, it's very close. So our terabyte is right here, so then we can source missions once again. And that one took so fast, we may even have to wait a little bit of a cooldown for the second one here. But I, you know what? While we're here, I'm actually going to move. Let's park this into the back here. Now, we need to move this thing. Now, we'll move this further back here. Perfect. Just so we're not right on that door. Because that's that was annoying. All right, another fairly simple one. Picking this up from the pier here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up now until we get towards the end. Because it's I feel like these videos are... You know, you've all seen these missions. I don't need to be showing you every mission we're doing. Unless there's a mission that shows up that's interesting. Uh, let's speed this up until we get to the end. All right, guys. So I don't know whether to keep going or not. As you can see, I have five minutes to go. But I technically have 17 in this one and 17 in my other one. So there's 17 in each. Do I do one more of each? I feel like we should do one more of each. Let's do one more of each. I mean, we got five minutes. I might be able to do two more in or one each in like six minutes. We'll see. I'll let you guys know exactly how long it takes. But we're basically done. But if we can get, we have 17 in each. If we can get 20 in each, that's a nice perfect rounded up number that I'll be happy with. So let's go ahead and do one more for the wholesale and then one more for this one. And I'll come back to you guys. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to sell both of these. We're going to sell one of them in a public lobby, a full public lobby, and one of them in an invite-only lobby. This way, we can see exactly how much money that you guys can make per hour with this special cargo unit, whether you choose to do it in a public sell or an invite sell. You can make that decision based off of the information I give you here in a second. So let's go ahead, get into our public lobby and do our first sell mission. So there we go. 20 units, two times pay, by the way. If you're watching this this week when it comes out, that's why it's so much. If you don't have two times pay, pay just split that in half. So 310,000. Better not be two delivery vehicles, man, just for that little. All right, so it's a plane once again, which I'm fine with. Oh, and it's one of these planes. You know what that means. We're going to get it shot at by NPCs. And because this thing's made of paper, we're going to go down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> All right, let's just speed this up because I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to this plane. If we're going to have to back out eventually, we're going to have to back out. But all right, let's just bloody do this. I feel like I'm going to have to go into Ghost Dog too. Where are we flying? So we're going to go up north first. So we're just going to go around the coast. Let's see what happens. I can see. Look at that right there. He's 100% coming for me. Let's just go high. Let's go high. I think he's going for somebody else. I was literally about to go to a different, like, join another invite-only lobby. I think what I'll do, we'll go Ghost Org. Just for a little bit here until they forget about us. Because we're all going up north, you know what I mean? We're going to try and avoid them. We're going to get high up here. We're going to go up north. We're not on the mini-map, so they're going to forget about us. By the time we show back up on the mini-map, these guys, you know, they'll forget about us. You know what? Change of plan. There is an oppressor up north. So we're just going to go down here and try and knock out some of these, and then we'll turn and go up north. Yeah, I feel like we'll just knock these ones out that are closer to the city while we're in Ghost Org, and then head up north. And the oppressor that's up there, hopefully, will vanish here soon, too. So we are going back on ourselves here a little bit, but it's fine. I was planning on doing this one here last. I was like, why is there a guy right there on the mini-map? Just please leave me alone. All right, we're about to... Everyone's going to be able to see us now. Our ghost dog's about to leave. It's fine. All right, so we're halfway through. 
be honest, it hasn't been that bad. I'm trying to leave the one that's all the way up north until last, like I say, just because there is an oppressor up there. Uh, so if we lose one, it's fine. At this point, having sold half, we've basically made our money as if we were doing it not in double money. You know what I mean? So even if we went down right now, we'd still have made what we would have usually made if we weren't in double pay. So you got to look at it that way, maybe. <laughs> all right, there's number seven. Number eight, really close. Right next to it, basically. All right, there's number eight. Let's do these last two. And it is a full lobby, so perfect. Uh, I see someone on my mini map. Don't know what they're doing. Leaving me alone, though, it seems. So let's do this one, number nine. And now we just have one more. The one that I honestly was... Someone... Oh, there's... It's the jet. It's the jet. We're trying to avoid him. Too late, buddy. Too late. <laughs> 930,000. You know what? Let's outsmart this guy because he sucks. Absolutely sucks. He tried locking on us. Can't fly to save his life. Where is he? Where is he? You know what? I think that's coming from behind. I really don't mind. I'm invincible! Okay, just take me out. It's fine. We got the money. Who cares? We got the money. I'm glad I told you I was hesitant to come up north. I don't know why there was so many people up north, man. But it's fine. We made it out. Those guys suck. All right, now let's move to an invite-only lobby. Thank God. Uh, how much was that? 980, 960? All right, now here we are doing the same thing again. 20 crates. This time, we are in an invite-only lobby. Now, what have we got? Two trucks. Now, for me personally, I would probably... I mean, you guys know me. You know I'll do this in a public lobby for the most part. Uh, <laughs> but the reason I'm doing it this way is just so you guys can see the difference. See how much money you can make per hour versus... Or how much money you can make an hour in a public lobby versus how much you can make an hour in an invite-only. Now, this is a lot. I think it's five deliveries per truck, or is it ten deliveries per truck? I'm not sure, but this is a lot. All right, so it was. It was three or five, sorry, per thing. So $620,000. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go full screen and talk about exactly how much money and how much time we made today and how much you can make too. All right, guys. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. So if you, uh, well, I was going to say in an hour, it was probably an hour and 10 because I had to go and get some couple more there. Maybe not 10 minutes, an hour and five. But then obviously you got the cell mission. So all in all, from grinding out for an hour and doing the cell missions, you're looking at like an hour and a half. So how much money can you make? Well, if you grind out for one hour and you go back and forth between two, like I did today, and you sold both of them in a public lobby, you would be making just shy of 1.9 million. So 1.8 million and $60,000. So let's round that up to 1.9, almost 2 million, but 1.9 million in an hour or from an hour of grinding then selling them. So 1.9 million if you do public lobby. Now, if you do it in an invite-only lobby, you're looking at 1.2 million, 1.3 million. Today's we got 1.2 million and 40,000. So let's just round that up. So it'll be 1.3 million, let's say, for invite-only. So those are your choices. When it comes to grinding out for an hour, there's about $600,000 difference between a public lobby and an invite only. So is it worth that risk to you? Let me know in the comment section down below. Because obviously, if you saw yesterday's guide video where I sold a full bunker for like 6.6 .6 million, there was a huge difference between a full bunker in an invite versus a full bu uh, bunker in a public we're talking two plus million dollars. But there you have it. Either way, great money making methods. This money making methods this week. I was going to post this video on Monday, but I was like, you know what? There's so much money to be made. Is it even per hour like we just did? I feel like I need to get this video out on Saturday so you guys can enjoy it for the weekend and grind away. So you can be making, like I say, almost two million dollars an hour this week if you're doing it in an invite only lobby. Anyway, let me know if you guys have been messing around with this, if you guys have been selling more. I don't think you're going to be selling more, but let me know if you guys have been doing it either way. Are you excited about it? I know a lot of people don't like spending hours and hours and hours and hours grinding away, but would you spend an hour like I did here today? Let me know in the comment section down below. Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.